Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry about my appearance. <laughs> I definitely need to get my eyebrows done. I'm looking bushy, busted and disgusted, but I just got back from the gym. And today is the day that I'm finally going to be getting my hair locked, okay? Rhea is supposed to be helping me today because I honestly cannot see in the back of my head. And I want them to be perfect part with dreads, locks. It doesn't really matter what your parts look like and everything like that. But I really want mine to be really clean and um, well kept. So this is my hair right now. It's pretty dry. I'm about to hop in the shower. I decided to switch over to my Garnier um, Fructis. Cold blends, shampoo, and conditioner. I was gonna be doing a deep conditioning. This does not have any coconut in it so far that I've read. Again, if you are new to my channel, I am allergic to tree nuts. So far, the main one that's been causing the most problem is my allergies to coconut. But yes, I wanted to bring you guys on my new new hair journey or spiritual journey that I'm going through anyway. I just turned 24. We moved to the Virgo season. Well, now it's really good. It will always be Virgo season with me. So, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in a few moments. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, my cousin helped me out yesterday. We only finished about halfway. I did manage to get my eyebrows done yesterday, thank the Lord. But I am loving this right now. So we, she started off pretty big in the back. My The hair in the back of my head are, is actually a little on the thinner side. And then the closer it gets to my crown area, that's when it starts becoming really thick. I don't know if you can really see that. In the back it starts off pretty big. I'll give you an example with these. And then as far as it goes up, it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. So at first I was kind of worried because of how small they are up here. I talked to my friend Nairi and she was like, oh, her friend had ended up starting out with sister locks. And the best thing about having small locks is that you can twist them as they get bigger. Because once they're big, you know, it's hard to go down in size. You would have to actually take out the whole entire dread. It's so small compared to this big old twist back here. I might probably start breaking these apart as well. But so far, I love it. It's pretty shiny. Let me see if I can. I'm loving this. And I wanted it to have a lot of locks anyway because I wanted it to be thick and enough to style with and everything like that. So I'm excited. It's going to be coming over again and we're going to finish up hopefully this top part of the head. And I will be back with the final results, okay? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Okay, so this is the finished result. I have not counted them yet. I'm in love with them, honestly. Like, they're really pretty. Ooh, I love Alright, ooh, I can't wait for all of this to shrink on up. Alright, you guys. I ended up taking this side this quarter part of my hair down again because I was not satisfied with the part. I have like serious OCD when it comes to parting my hair. I really love for my hair to look neat all the time. So this is gonna be a tough journey for me because I know I can't slick my hair down like I want to and everything like that. But so far I am loving this. This is how I style my hair for today. Oh, y'all can't tell me nothing. Oh, this is too cute. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So I started my lock journey on October 6th, I want to say. Okay, correction. I started my hair journey on October 5th. <laughs> and I did not finish until, I guess, today, October 7th. So all in all, this whole hairstyle took me two days. But it's looking good, though. It's looking good, though. I am feeling myself. I'll see you guys in a month though. Bye.